Hey, Frag fam, welcome to another video from Proverbs 27, 9 Fragrances. Today, we're just going to be doing a short review on a car brand, and that is from the house of Cadillac, and this is Coupe. If you would, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you got the notifications turned on. We upload videos every Monday and Friday. Then a lot of times we'll drop videos also on Wednesdays and Sundays. So you want to be notified every time we upload content. Make sure you got the notifications on. All right, so Cadillac is a brand that not a lot of folks are aware of. Uh, their, their best selling fragrance was just the Cadillac uh, Pour Homme or For Men. I can't remember if it's which one it is, but um, it's a really good, this is a really good fragrance. Um, it's, it reminds me of Youp and Mont Blanc Individuel because it's got a real strong raspberry note. Uh, but it, then it, it also has other nuances that makes me like it better than either one of those. And that is it's kind of got some, some woods and things of that nature. And so Cadillac Coupe it does not have, uh, you know, it's, it's a similar fragrance, but it goes in a much different direction. This one is listed um, as an aromatic fragrance. Let me go ahead and give you, show you the box. Uh, the box is actually nice for just a cheap, you know, designer car brand box. Um, it's got the embossed Cadillac logo here, coupe uh, for men. Nothing on the sides. The back's got all your um, ingredients and all that. Barcode, batch code on the bottom. Cadillac on the top. You know, pretty standard, uh, but I like the wide um, nature of it. Just looks a little different than other boxes. And the bottle is unique. Um, it kind of is in the shape of a Cadillac emblem, as well as I believe that kind of a theme in all their bottles. They kind of do that um, chevron. You know, kind of looks like the grill of uh, of a vehicle uh, on their bottles. Cadillac emblem on the top of the, the lid. The lid is, is plastic and it doesn't really snap on just real well. You wouldn't want to pick it up by it. Um, but the, you know, the bottle's fine, it's nice, it looks good on a shelf, it's different. The atomizers on these um, are okay. Um, you know, they put out a nice wide blast. It's not a, a real heavy, stream i would call them average so what you get on this is you get on the top you've got you've got um some citruses that come out the listed ones are lime and bergamot and that makes sense it's not a real juicy it's more of a green rindy citrus is, is like how i usually describe lime or grapefruit um, when you get uh, sometimes grapefruit can really be juicy, but a lot of times it's a little more green, a little more rindy. And that's kind of the way the, the citrus is used here. There's lavender and patchouli in the mid, so it's a, it's a citrus aromatic. But what makes it unique is it's got juniper on the top. And then in the base, it's got Peru balsam and tobacco. And uh, so this is just a real nice, pleasant, it's a unoffensive, um, I don't know that it's mass appealing in the sense that it's, that it, you know, smells like a lot of the top sellers in the designer market, but it's inoffensive, it wouldn't offend anybody, it'd smell good, you could wear it to the office, you could wear it in jeans and a t-shirt. To me, what it kind of reminds me of is John Volvato's Vintage. Uh, but more so CK1 Shock. Um, I think it smells a lot like CK1 Shock, which, you know, both of those are, are inexpensive fragrances. This one may be a little harder to find. It smells different enough from it that if you like CK1 Shock, I would suggest to buy this. I wear CK1 Shock more, but I think this one actually may be a little better. But it's, it's a good fragrance, it's really good. I don't know why it didn't do real well, probably just didn't have a lot of marketing and 
you know, being a car brand, they kind of really have to catch on in the, in the fragrance community to really sell a lot of fragrances. If I was these car brands, I would be, you know, working these bottles in, you know, free with the cars that you buy. Every car gets a bottle. And of course, you know, you work that into the price of the car somehow and increase your sales. But they're probably, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm also not a fool. I understand Cadillac is not the one selling these. They just license their name and uh, to, you know, whoever made this. Uh, Beauty Contact Incorporated. Fabric. Uh, oh, so it's made in, made in the USA. Anyways, whoever makes this, Beauty Contact, I guess, is the brand. You know, they just license Cadillac's name. But I did hear that Cadillac is coming out with some new fragrances, or at least they have reapplied for patents. They had stopped in 2012. I believe this was their last fragrance. They hadn't put anything out since this one, uh, but they reapplied for some new patents on fragrances and on, you know, um, soaps and beauty products. So look for Cadillac maybe to uh, come out with some new fragrances before too long. But if here's the deal. If you like CK1, if you really like, excuse me, CK1 Shock, if you really like that, you know, tobacco-y, um, but yet still mass appealing fresh um, fragrance, then I think you could give this one a shot. It'd be a good one to add to your collection to, to wear on days you're not wearing CK1 shot, but you kind of would like to. All right, that's my review. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Probably most of you have never smelled it. If you have smelled it, tell me what you think about it. Uh, till we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, Frag fam.